Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to go over question 64 to 65 of section 3 of the pink book. This is a question about dental cement, and we've been given an equation which I've written out here. So we've got a, a powder and uh, some acidic liquid which uh, reacts together to form a dental cement and water. Then we're given a, a graph, and it shows how the water content of the cement can change over time between being evaporable and non-evaporable. Um, it's a little bit complicated, but basically the way to think of it is as water um, essentially is converted from being evaporable to non-evaporable, this water um, gets embedded within the cement, so the cement becomes more hydrated. Um, okay, so question 64 says which one of the following represents the formula for a dental cement formed by reacting a trivalent metal with a divalent anion? So with valencies, you need to remember that they swap over. Um, so we've got a metal and an anion. The metal has a valency of 3 and the anion has a valency of 2 and they swap over like this. So we end up with M2A3 and that gives us an answer of A for question 64. If we look then at 65, which is a little bit more complicated, it talks about this graph here. It says which one of the following is true based on the information that's given. Um, okay, so with this sort of question, especially to go through each answer in turn. So let's do that. A says the weakest cement is the most hydrated. So what does it mean by weakest? Well, we're given this uh, thing on the x-axis, which is the compressive strength in megapascals. And um, it changes with age. So we've also got this time figure as well. So if we're going to compare them, let's compare them all at the same time. Um, so at 340 hours, let's have a look at their compressive strengths and how that relates to their hydration. Now, what does it mean to be hydrated? We talked about this before, and this is going to be the proportion of non-evaporable water that's actually in the um, cement itself. Okay, so the weakest cement out of the four that we have here is going to be zinc polycarboxylate, and it has quite a low amount of non-evaporable liquid. Um, so it's actually the least hydrated. So the answer is not going to be A. B says the hydration of cements increases with age. So this is the proportion of non-evaporable water that's present in the cement. Does it increase with age? So let's look at zinc phosphate. First of all, we can see that at the start, obviously, there's no non-evaporable uh, liquid. But as time goes on, as it ages, then more of it's incorporated into the structure and so the cement becomes more hydrated. That's true for zinc polycarboxylate, the glass ionomer and the silicate cement as well. So if that's true for all of them, then that is based on the information given the most likely answer. So the answer is going to be B. To rule them out then, let's have a look at the other answers. C says zinc cements are more hydrated than glass ionomers. So we've got two zinc cements and one glass ionomer to compare it with. So are they going to be more hydrated? Well, that's going to be the proportion of the fluid that's present being in the non-evaporable form. And we can see that the amount of the bars that is not shaded in is smaller um, than in the glass ionomer. So proportionally, the glass ionomer has more non-evaporable liquid present. So that's not true. And then D says, as hydration increases, the compressive strength of the cement decreases. So of course, as hydration increases, that's going to be an increase in the amount of non-evaporable water. And we can see that as over time that increases, um, the compressive strength also increases too. But even if we were to compare to um, different cements. So let's compare zinc phosphate and zinc polycarboxylate. Those two dental cements have different compressive strengths at their final time of 340 hours. And you can see that, of course, the hydration is lower for the zinc polycarboxylate than for the zinc phosphate. And then if we were to continue to compare that, for example, with the, the glass ionomer, we can see that the compressive strength and the hydration aren't necessarily strictly linked. The clearest answer, I think, for this one is that the hydration of cements increases with age. 
or answer B. So that's question.